Well, hello there. Welcome to another mail day video here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fett me. And yeah, today I've got a couple, uh, yeah, two packages from Tops. One from a purchase through a Facebook group for a card that they had. And then from another online Facebook break. So we'll kind of slide that stuff out of the way and jump into the... The opening here. This, is, this should be a living set. And I want to say that this week's living set shipped out yesterday. So they're getting, <laughs> getting a little ahead of themselves, it seems. They're shipping them out. I mean, yeah, I mean, I got the subscription and all, but... Counter timer hasn't even expired for the week. It won't expire till Tuesday morning, and you're already shipping the stuff out. So it's kind of a little weird, but I'm not complaining too much about it. So a little. I guess you'd say a lesser known character from Animated Clone Wars, King Sanjay Rosh, and then Numa from Clone Wars. So that one's done by Carlos, and the Numa is Chris Penix. So again, nice quality. That's 253 and 254. There's that. And we'll move on to the. And this here should be Project 70. And it's kind of a little disappointing because this should have been two different cards. Total of four, but two for each one of the two different releases that came out at the same time. It doesn't look like I got any parallels. So here's the latest. I say latest. The latest one that shipped out for Alex Pardee. Aaron Judge. His attack on Titan. Card. And then the other one should be the same thing, but... Pretty sure it's not a parallel, because again, like I say, normally if you get a parallel, it is a bonus card. So yeah, it's just the same card. And the sad part is, the other one was the now controversial Soulfly card that was done for Otani, which was actually copyright issue for the card because it actually was designed from or the design was copied for a, a Japanese anime that was done in the early 2000s and I don't know if Soulfly I I'd have tried to because of course Tops has taken it off their website so you can't even view what the card looked like now <laughs> but what I was trying to do to see was I didn't pay attention to it but if they had given credit you know saying that it was art inspired by or anything like that but here's a card from the Chrome Legacy for this year it's a Mandalorian concept art card it's 9 of 50, so it should be the green. Uh, Boba Fett. Looking out over Tatooine at sunset. But 
but yeah, on that whole deal, tops really didn't put much out there for the public to kind of make them understand what was going on. It was you know, a little questionable how they handled it. I mean, they could have just come right out and said, you know, okay, this card was done. And when we authorized it or approved it, we didn't realize that it was essentially art that had already been done years ago by another artist and that we didn't catch it. So unfortunately we cannot sell that card because of it being a copyright issue. I could have easily done that, but they literally did not put anything out. All of a sudden, as of Monday this past week, it just Project 70 was on pause with no real answer as to what was happening. So I think that was a poor decision on their part, but I suppose, you know, it just goes to show how much they aren't really uh, interested in, how shall we say, uh, keeping the public informed as to what's going on. So, yeah, it was disappointing, but I guess it is what it is. So, yeah, this was from a case break, uh, Chrome Legacy that I got into, and unfortunately, my pick was a low pick, so I was only able to grab... I was only able to grab a couple different things, so I got the Visions inserts, as well as the green parallel. So, I've got the dual concept art, Lop and Ocho, the dual again, another of the dual, another for the dual, Tatooine Rhapsody, Tatooine Rhapsody, Ninth Jedi, Tatooine Rhapsody, like a younger Bib Fortuna, Tatooine Rhapsody, Ninth Jedi, Lop and Ocho, my man Boba for Tatooine Rhapsody, 2B1, and Lop and Ocho. And I'd have to look at the numbering to see if it was close to a complete set or not. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it looks like the complete set, 1 through 15. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Whoops. Sorry. 2. Uh, missing number 3. I wonder if I've got it in my other pile of singles. I'll have to double check that. So technically one card short. A double of one. And then for the green parallels got the mission to deal the Death Star the mission to steal the Death Star plans. 48 of 50. The Ghost Crew Cap locates Captain Rex. 49 of 50. Well that's kind of weird. Are they all 48, 49? Ahsoka Tano protects Senator Amidala, 49 of 50. Quill helps Mando negotiate, 50 of 50. Hand gives the co coaxium to Emphis Nest, 1 of 50. Mando asks for help on his mission, 49 of 50. Command center is destroyed. 46 of 50. Luke Skywalker tells Ray to face Palpatine. 12 of 50. And there's the one I was looking for. Boba Fett and Fennec Shand arrive. 2 of 50. So that adds to my attempt at a rainbow for this card. 
Unfortunately, there's not that many parallels in this set, so it should be a little bit easier. Jin and Cassian team with K2SO, and of course, K2SO is in the pilot seat. 46 of 50. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That was all she wrote today. Just a short mail day video. But yeah. Hope everybody has a great rest of your Sunday, and as always, keep collecting.